Huge thank you to my four members on YouTube. Thank you so much for supporting what I do. OBS has a lot of plugins. Like, a lot of them. Some more useful than others, and some that will blow your mind of what it can add to your streams. Tonight, we're talking about the five best plugins that you need to install right now. Let's go. How's it going, guys? Hope you all having a fantastic day. My name is Synchro. Plugins in OBS are a blessing, and there are so many amazing, hardworking plugin developers out there doing God's work so we can make our streams absolutely amazing. Today, we're showing up five plugins that are absolute must-haves. We're going to be talking about them and some of the features that they have, and we're going to briefly touch upon on how to install them towards the end of the video. Guys, if this helps you in any way, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Also, share it around with your streamer friends so they can learn something new too. Let's get started. Starting off with what I consider to be the most important plugin that you can download right now is Palakir's OBS WebSocket. This plugin is godlike. It allows you to do so many things with your OBS that you normally wouldn't be able to do. What this plugin does is that it allows your OBS to connect to very handy pieces of software and services. Things like Touch Portal, Leorum Board, Trigger Fire, Streamer Bot. It allows these programs to have control over your OBS. This allows you to do many things that you normally wouldn't be able to do without those tools. Things like like controlling your stream for your phone or making it so things like chat commands and channel rewards can control your OBS. It is a game changer and speaking of which there's actually certain games out there that you can connect it to and the game can control your OBS. It's insane. This plugin has become so essential to so many people in the world of streaming that I think from OBS version 28 it's going to be implemented natively into OBS. I'm very excited on what we'll be able to create and achieve with future updates on this project. Next up, we have Zaymar's StreamFX. StreamFX is a plugin that I have mentioned in so many of my videos purely because of the amount of content and features that it adds to your OBS. Things like blurs, drop shadows, and 3D transform. And as of recent updates, you have features from NVIDIA broadcast being added into it, like virtual green screens, denoisers, face tracking, and so much more. This plugin single-handedly opens up so many doors for creativity and innovation. In my opinion, by far the most useful feature to have come out of StreamFX as well is the source mirrors, which essentially gives you the ability to make a clone of a source or a scene and whatever filters you add to that source mirror only affects that source mirror and nothing else. It is simply incredible with the amount of things that it allows you to do. Next up is Exceldra's Move Transition and guys, this plugin has opened up so many opportunities for me that I did not know were even possible. This plugin is more than just a simple, smooth move transition. It has the ability to do all that, yes, and you can even add it to specific sources to turn them on and off with the transition. But one of the highlights for me about this plugin is the filters that it adds. This plugin adds filters that give you the ability to move sources within the scene themselves at the click of a button. You can add multiple filters with different locations tied to them and then link your source to those filters and when you toggle that filter on, your source will move to that location. This is how I move my webcam frame on my stream all within the same scene. I can move it left or right, resize it and I don't have to change the scene that I'm in. And another really awesome thing that the move transition lets you do, it lets you move the values of other filters. Say you have a color correction filter, right? Right, and you want to move the hue of your image. Usually, you'd only really have the ability to turn it on and off. But with the move value filter, you can link it to that color correction filter and you can make it so the value slowly changes from one value to another and the speed of which it changes in. So you can make that hue filter slowly rise to make the color shift really, really smooth. It opens up the opportunity to do so many cool things like my white effect and my zawarado. Number four is Bosbest Wind Capture Audio. 
This is a plugin that I'll have to make a whole video about someday just because of how useful it is. Especially if you don't have a tool that can separate your audio into different audio sources. With this plugin, it gives you the ability to add specific audio tracks on your computer as individual audio sources in your OBS. Meaning you can individually change the audio of what you hear and what your stream hears completely separate. Wanna make it so you can hear your teammates in the voice chat with you at full force, but then your chat doesn't hear them at all? You can do that. Add your Discord as one of the audio sources and then turn it down. Now you'll still be able to hear them as loud as you want, but to your stream, they won't hear a thing. It is honestly such an amazing plugin for audio management. And finally, we have CERN's OBS shader filter, which is just fantastic. This plugin gives you the ability to add custom shaders and effects to your scenes and sources. Heck, if you have the knowledge, you can even code your own effects. Thankfully, if you don't know how to make your own, the plugin already comes with like a bunch of effects included. You can make yourself glitch out, add an earthquake to your stream and make yourself a motherfucking oh. rainbow. I absolutely love what you can do with this plugin and I don't think I could achieve half the wacky effects that I have if not for it. To install them, it's super, super easy. Head over to their respective web pages and hit the download button. Some of them are in zip files and some of them are exe files and some offer both. To install them from a zip, simply open up the zip file, then simply drag and drop them on your OBS directory. To install them from an exe, pretty self-explanatory. Run the exe and locate your OBS directory and install it there. And that's all for the day, guys. These are, in my opinion, some of the best plugins that you can get for OBS. I love these plugins and I absolutely cannot live without them. All of the developers have put so much love and effort into what they do, so please show them your support. If you guys have any other plugins that you really like and that wasn't on the list, tell me about it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys what other plugins you guys are using. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this video helped you or a friend of yours in any way shape or form if you guys have any questions and want to learn more come check us out on twitch i stream monday wednesdays and fridays starting at 4 p.m australia west standard time i'd love to see you there that's all for the video friends i hope you all have an amazing day and an amazing stream and i'll catch you all later